Good morning, YouTube. Back with another video, and today, uh, it's, I don't even know where to start. I've, I've tried to make this video. This is my third time trying to make this video, and for whatever reason, the footage just disappears off my memory card. It's really, really weird. I've been filming for over a year and a half. I've not had any footage ever disappear like it has when trying to preview and eventually review these two products that I'm going to talk about today. And so, yeah, I was about to just give up. I said, I'm going to try one more time. If the footage is not on here again, then this you won't even know it because I will not continue to try to make this video. But anyway, today um, I'm excited about today because I'm, I'm going to my local audio car. Um, I'm going to my local car audio shop to get my new amp and new sub installed. Now, if you remember when I reviewed the truck that I recently bought, the Tacoma, the previous owner had a sub and an amp in it that he took, I don't know, it looks like he yanked out, but if he, if you want to call it, he took out before he traded it in the truck. Um, I didn't really necessarily have to go with a sub, but I decided to go with the sub because I have a feeling that these speakers really aren't going to push a lot of bass. And so um, that's why I went, went ahead with the sub. So make this, make this long story short, there's two products that I'm going to be well, there's two products that I'm going to be previewing right now and then after the installation later today I'm going to come back and finish this video with the actual review. I personally don't like sound tests on YouTube because you just really can't get a you can't really get a gauge of how these how audio equipment really sounds on video. So I'm still going to try to do an audio test for you guys for these products because I could not find any videos for either one of these products actually in use so I will probably be the first one on YouTube to do that the problem is is you're still not gonna really get a feel and gauge of how it really sounds in person but I'm gonna do it anyway because I personally looked up um, videos for these two products and couldn't find anything so um, I want to try to give other people what they may be looking for when it comes to a sound test with these products so this is the first product that I'm, I'm excited about this is the kicker hideaway subwoofer with a built-in amp now the original kicker hideaway sub um, was an 8 inch sub and that one's been out for I think a couple of years now I was going to order the 8 inch one and put that one in the pa under the passenger seat in the front but after reading the reviews of the 8 inch you had a lot of great reviews and then I saw a lot of neutral reviews and there were a good number of negative views as well a lot of people having to send that particular uh, sub back for repairs or to exchange it for another one because theirs were faulty. And so I didn't want to go that route. I didn't want to have to keep sending it if I were to end up with a bad one, which that could happen to anybody. But then I started finding out, oh, they made a new one, which is the 10 inch uh, hideaway sub. I'm sorry. Yeah, hideaway sub. And so um, and it's, it's I think it came out earlier in 2020. So this is it. This is the the kicker uh, hideaway 10 inch sub uh, with the built in amp and it can be pushed uh, I think up to 360 watts max but the built in amp I think only goes up to half that amount of 180 which is pretty much all I need for a small cabin you know in a Tacoma so this will be installed behind the rear passenger uh, seat and so there's a space back there that's actually for storage. I'm going to lose that storage space, but it's fine because this actually fits perfectly back there. Um, so, yeah, I'm really uh, excited to hear how this is going to sound. And again, I could not find any videos or reviews. I mean, well, I found a few reviews, but no videos of it actually being hooked up and, and doing a sound test on YouTube. Now, it has a built-in amp, so I don't have to worry about an amp with that. But when it comes to the other speakers in the car, I am going with the JL Audio RD400. This is a four-channel amp, and uh, it it can go up to uh, a max of 400 watts for this particular amp. Um, this particular amp right here is uh, pretty high-tech, and uh, it, it actually has individual components and knobs where you can dial in to your gains and 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 just to make sure that it's uh, a high quality sound type it's going to go under the uh, driver uh, front seat 
as well. And so I will let you know how this setup sounds. Um, the speakers I currently have in the truck right now are Kicker uh, CS. I can't remember the exact model number, but I know they can get pushed up to 300 watts. So I'll have the Kicker speakers already in place, the Kicker uh, Hideaway sub, and I'll have the JL Audio amp pushing all of this equipment. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. Um, you know, I love good quality sound. I'm not about being loud and, you know, my car doesn't have to be rattling or shaking. I don't necessarily want the whole block to hear me, but I want good quality sound in a radio. And I think, uh, I think I chose pretty good selections to make that happen in this truck. I just wanted to do a quick preview of everything before it gets installed. So I'll come back and let you know how it sounds then. All right guys, so here at Electronics Depot, Greg, the owner of the store, he just installed my sub and my amp. Really appreciate that. And I'm gonna do the review on those in just a few. So Greg, you wanna shout out the store, give, tell everybody the address where you are? Yep, 1240 West State Road 436, Altamont Springs. We are literally about three quarter of a mile away from 436 and 434 towards the pop car on the left hand side. Yep. And uh, thank you for your business. Okay guys, so we'll check you guys on our next one. See you in a few. Okay YouTube, we're back and I'm gonna do a uh, sound test for you guys for the JL Audio RD400 amp and the Kicker 10 inch hideaway sub. Uh, did run into a little problem. This, <laughs> this whole stereo, trying to get everything installed in this thing has been a month long crazy process so at the last second when the uh, shop was doing the install they found out that the right side of the uh, rear speakers the kicker speakers that I have in here one of them was blown and was sounding distorted and that's what the noise was I heard it before all of this but I thought it was because and I've had this happen before where if you have some decent speakers in your car and you don't have an amp to push it, it can sound distorted at high volume. So that's what I thought it was. Come to find out one of them had blown. So because of that, I had to go and buy some more rear speakers at the last second. So I went with some, some lower end um, Alpine rear speakers. I forgot the model. They sound decent. The rear I'm not really worried about. It's more so the front, the amp and the sub. And so, um, so they sound decent. I mean, I'm not, they're, they're nothing to, to be wild over, but for last second, you know, quick, uh, quick mishap, I think they'll do the job. So I want to do a sound test. Now I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the sound. I did think the sub was going to be a little bit louder only because, um, you know, it's a 10 inch, 10 inch sub and the cabin in here is not that big. It does sound good, but it isn't as bass dropping as I thought it would be. But that's fine though. It's actually, it, it's now the second day after I listened to it some more, it's actually good. Cause I, I didn't want this thing to be rattling. I didn't want it to be too crazy. Actually the system sounds crisp, it's clear. There is enough bass for what I like. And so I'm happy with what I chose. Don't get me wrong. Um, I just thought the sub would be a little bit louder. But again, the built-in amp is only 180 watts. It can go up to 360. So I could get another smaller amp to push the sub if I wanted but it's really not even that serious to me. It's not worth all of that. So I will show you where everything's located in just a second, but let me do the sound test first so you guys can actually hear um, how this thing sounds, so.
you know, I can control that bass with the bass knob here, so. Switch the tracks up a little bit. Try to play a few different different genres of music just so everyone can kind of get a feel for uh, how everything sounds, you know. So let me do a reggae joint right quick. <laughs> trying to get clearance of music that I can play on here without being copyrighted so it's the best I could do at this time just bear with me y'all so this is supposed to be pop definitely more inspirational so I'm gonna say I filled that category with the uh, inspirational <laughs> By the way, I listen to pretty much all kind of music, man. Mostly reggae and hip-hop. Always that one that wants to listen to some classical music, so don't want to leave them out as well. <laughs>
gonna try one more country just because uh, I'm not even gonna do you guys like that. I, I gotta at least try one more. Let, let's just see. Mm. <laughs> oh One jazz and blues at least. end this one on one more hip-hop and rap but yeah I'm happy with it man I don't know how this is gonna sound through the camera but I hope it's enough footage for you guys to kind of make up your mind if you want <laughs> Yeah, guys, so I, again, I don't know um, how this is picking up on my, on, my, on my mic, on my camera. I don't really know how well this is really going to sound on video, but in person, I do think it was a good setup. Um, I'm probably, over time, will switch out maybe those Sonys or even, I may switch out all four speakers, to be honest. It gets something more high grade, but I had to get something because the former owner of this truck took out the amp and the sub so I had to buy something to get this thing going because of the way that he started already installing stuff so but uh it's cool but anyway guys I hope this helps out if you're trying to make a selection of a sub and an amp and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video peace